Today, we are going to be staying at one of the most high-end exclusive luxury hotels, the Crockfords. I'm gonna be showing you a bunch of brand new things to do here at Resorts World, including a brand new tiki bar, their amazing spa, and the Transfix art installation. Tonight is gonna to be incredible. We have so much to do. Let's go get checked in. Checking into the Crockfords can really make a girl feel like a VIP. They're gonna give you an amazing, cute little key souvenir with the fob on it. That's how you get into your room. This also allows you access into this lobby. If you are not a Crockfords guest, you can't even come in here. Even when you come to pull in, the porte cochere is actually closed off with a gate and they have to allow you to come through to get the valet. In the lobby in the mornings, they're also gonna have complimentary tea, coffee, pastries, and juice for you. All of that is free for Crockfords guests. Now that we're checked in, let's head up to our room. We are in room 59183 in one of their standard king rooms. These are called the City View Superior King Rooms. It smells fantastic in here. Let's take a peek. These rooms are so beautiful. We have never stayed in a standard room at Crockford's, although we have seen them. First of all, you're greeted with the biggest floor to ceiling windows our view is awesome we can see circa and the strat and them working on fountain blue which is so exciting the room is a whopping 550 square feet it makes this giant king bed actually look small because there is so much space to walk around the color palette is this gorgeous like grayish tones with a lot of texture in the wallpaper and in the carpet and then that red headboard backsplash it makes it really pop it's beautiful Huge TV behind me. So in terms of a relaxation space, Crockford's is very nice. The rooms at Crockford's actually provide you with a Theragun massager in your room. So you can get into your robes and slippers and uh, give each other some massages. wet bar here is wonderful, feels very high end. You have an espresso maker, which makes excellent coffee. You also do have a separate fridge to put your own drinks and things, but then there is the full mini bar and the mini bar shelf here. Also right across a floor to ceiling mirror, which is so nice to check when you're getting ready. I swear the ceilings feel even taller in this bathroom. I feel so small. The toilet is in a water closet separated with frosted glass and they have a huge, massive, gigantic shower in here. Now I know some of these rooms do also have bathtubs. So something to ask about if you're coming to stay. Dual vanity sinks, they give you a dental kit, manicure kit, my absolute favorite bath products out of any hotel. So <sighs> Crockford's bathrooms are killing it. I'm so excited about today, you guys. We're gonna be showing you things that we have never shown on the channel before. But first, we wanna check out the newly rebranded Athena Infinity Ultra Pool. This is the Athena Infinity Pool. All adults are welcome to come in here. You don't have to pay to come in. But if you wanna sit or lay out, you do need to rent a lounge chair, a day bed, or a cabana. We rented a cabana here today. It was $300 for the minimum, so 150 of that goes towards food and beverage. We grabbed a Cobb salad and a burger. The food was top notch. I highly recommend it. We also got a Tulum cocktail. It's just a fantastic vibe. They play really good music. It's very relaxing and fun. It's busy today. Everyone's laying out on this gorgeous day. I highly recommend 
this one. Resorts World's pool area has got to be in my top when it comes to the Las Vegas pools. got freshened up in the room. We are in a bit of a hurry because there's an awesome happy hour deal that we are trying to catch. I have heard such good things about Kusunori. We noticed they have a happy hour every day from 4 to 5.30 in the bar and lounge, and they have some of their bites and hand rolls, so we're gonna try a few things out. I'm excited, I love sushi. I got the salmon hand roll, it was $8. A really large sizable hand roll and it was delicious. But the best deal by far was definitely the Wagyu Gyoza. These are $20 on the happy hour menu. It's the same size as if you were to order normally in the restaurant, but they're normally $32. Mr. Ruby said it was one of the best gyoza he's had, so we opted not to get any of the good happy hour drinks because there is a brand new tiki bar that we have to head to next. at Golden Monkey Tiki Lounge. So this is where the Genting Palace Chinese restaurant is, and they've taken the lounge and converted it into tiki. Now it's not like your classic tiki lounge where it's like maximalism and there's a ton of tiki stuff all in your face. It's a lot more cute little touches of tiki all throughout with some surfboards and cute little masks and things like that. But the menu is very, totally tiki. <laughs> we got the one-way ticket. That's one that they have 151 rum on the top that they light on fire with cinnamon. It's a very classic two rum passion fruit tiki cocktail. And then we got the guava gal. That one's actually a little lighter. It's a gin cocktail, more of a fruity fresh. Both of them are good. They come in super cute mugs, which they did say soon you'll be able to purchase. And overall, it's just a cute little fun spot. Grab yourself a little tiki culture and enjoy a drink. Transfix is the world's largest immersive art experience. This is the first of its kind, debuting here at Las Vegas. We are so excited. Let's go check it out. We'll take you with us. up at Transfix. People were really partying in there. There was so much to see, but it is getting late. Tomorrow we want to show you guys the spa. It is one of the best in Vegas. I'm really excited for that. So we're going to call it a night and we will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. We slept so good. The pillows here are very comfortable. I'm tempted to buy some. We grabbed some coffee from downstairs, and I'm really excited this morning because I wanna show you Resorts World Spa. I took my sister here when she was visiting, and we just loved it. It's incredible. So we're gonna go check it out, and I'll bring you along. We're here inside Awana. This is Resorts World Spa. If you're here as a couple, almost all of the areas are accessible as a couple. My favorite part would be the plunge tubs. So they're gonna start with cold and work all the way around to a hot tub with jets. And it's just so relaxing to take a dip in each of these different pools. They have a Laconium salt room and they have a huge, amazing sauna here. They actually have sauna masters that come and do sort of a towel dance and they use essential oils and steam while you're in the sauna. It's really unique and fun. They also do have steam rooms and hot tubs over in these separate sections if you don't wanna be in the co-ed area. They have a whole foot and hand massage area with TVs. You can order a book or a magazine if you just wanna lay out and relax. Speaking of laying out, they have these 
tiled chairs that are heated in the main area and they are so wonderful to lay on. It feels so good on your feet. Now, if you wanna come and book the spa, any package or any massage or anything that you book as a service will allow you to have access into the spa or you can just book a Fountain of Youth package, which is what I did, where you just have a day pass and allows you access to these co-ed areas and the steam rooms. You guys are always asking me about good spas to go to or where you should come to relax. This is one of my favorite and I highly recommend it. Oh, could have relaxed at the spa all day, but it's checkout time. We gotta go. First of all, we'll start by talking about the rooms. Crockford's is definitely one of my favorite places to stay. They are so upscale and luxury. And if you look at a typical weekday price, they're gonna be around $300 a night, give or take. So it's in that high-end price category with all the other high-end hotels. And I just feel like they really treat you well for it. I think they really try to make you feel special. It's very like closed off and private and quiet in an otherwise very like lively property. And I wanna thank Resorts World and Transfix for inviting us to the grand opening. I'm so happy that we could show that to you guys. The vibe to me was very much like a party in the desert where people brought like all of this interactive art. Like if you're into like Burning Man or EDC, it had that kind of vibe. We were there for probably two hours and I mean, there was a lot to see. This video was such a blast. We just had so much fun doing this one and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it and thank you all for being here and I will see you guys all in our next review.